Node.js just did something huge and almost nobody noticed. For the past decade, TypeScript has been replacing JavaScript in everything from front-end apps to back-end APIs. Everyone writes TypeScript now, whether they admit it or not. And, naturally, modern JavaScript runtimes had to keep up. Dino was built around TypeScript from day one and Bun added native TS support with no configuration required. But Node has been dragging its feet on the matter. For years, using TypeScript in Node meant cobbling together your own toolchain and config processes, which became really annoying in the context of the seamless experience offered by other runtimes. However, this is now finally changing. Thank you! The Amaro version 1 release, which is Node's official built-in type stripping loader for TypeScript files, is one of the most important steps Node has taken towards making TypeScript a first-class citizen in its ecosystem. Note that Amaro is not some magical transpiler or bundler, and its entire job is to strip TypeScript types at runtime so your TS files can run directly in Node without going through an external build process. Under the hood, it delegates the actual transformation work to SWC, which is a high-performance Rust-based compiler that's basically become the industry standard at this point. Amaro supports two distinct modes. The default, strip types, simply removes the type annotations and runs the remaining code as plain JavaScript. The transform types mode, on the other hand, is a bit more advanced and is aimed to handle features like enums, which used to be a huge blocker for people trying to run TypeScript in Node directly. What's even more exciting is that Amaro actually works with TS files from the Node modules folder. This was something Node's previous experimental support couldn't handle properly. So now, you're not just limited to your own code, you can run entire dependency trees written in TypeScript without needing to precompile everything or rewrite half the stack. In practice, this means that you can start working with TypeScript in Node.js today without any additional steps. Your IDE will pick up any TS warnings and errors to guide you properly, but at runtime, Node will just treat your TS files like regular JavaScript. So we are getting the TypeScript developer experience without the build steps that usually come with it. In all fairness, the DX is not quite the Dino or Bun experience yet, but it's finally close enough that most developers won't care. And more importantly, it's officially supported by the Node core team. The release also paves the way for TypeScript support in Node to be promoted from experimental to stable later this year. But, of course, there's still friction. Not everyone is running the latest version of Node, and some environments still lag behind on support. There are already calls to backport Amaro to Node 22 to help close the gap, and it sounds like the Node team is at least aware of that need. So, if you've been holding off on TypeScript in Node because you didn't want to babysit a toolchain, now's the time to take another look. If you liked this video, you should check out one of these ones next. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching.